Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we have another big instance of, well, us essentially just hating NFTs. And if you guys don't know, it's kind of been the flavor, I guess, of the week because we keep on seeing all these other various gaming companies kind of coming out with their own various types of things to go and make and essentially scam people for a bunch of money. And now this one's actually kind of a little more on the intriguing side because we actually had a Minecraft project go and sell and basically scheme out over a million dollars that was actually scammed out from all their community and basically went and ghosted basically everyone. So basically anyone, uh, if you guys ever try to go and involve yourselves with Minecraft, be careful. But as well, if you guys ever try to involve yourself with Minecraft, Minecraft NFTs, be even a little bit more extra careful because when we see this type of news, man, it just kind of feels so scummy and so sleazy to go and see. So we have a lot of things to go and talk about, kind of give you guys the story of how someone basically just stole a million dollars from everyone using Minecraft. And of course, just please always be careful when you guys are dealing with NFTs. I'm never anti-NFT. But um, I'm anti this because this is basically just people getting scammed for millions of dollars. So, whew. Ooh. <laughs> so of course, if you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for a brand new PS5 giveaway. We have some awesome deals down for Samsung phones down below as well as some SSDs up on sale. You also get free gift cards down below in the links. Amazon links down below as well for the Pivot, Twitter, Twitch stream, and also that Weeble coin base, all that good stuff down below. And of course, when it comes to all these crazy weird NFT stories, they keep on coming out more and more and more often. So kind of give me your thoughts and comments down below. So for this, we have a nice little spicy article over here from Kotaku basically saying... The NFT Minecraft project that sold $1.2 million worth of like their tokens and they're basically on the NFT type system formula, however you guys want to go word it if you guys are not familiar with cryptocurrency. Then after they did that, went and deleted everything just a few days after the fact when they got their money. <sighs> well, that's why, I, dude, I'm like, I'm not anti-NFTs, but I'm definitely anti-people getting scammed for millions of dollars. Block vs. Devs deny the project is a scam instead of claiming that they vanished because of harassment. Yeah, very conveniently after you went and printed a million dollars worth of basically crypto and you did this. So basically, if you guys don't know, for NFTs, you can basically have like little, let's just say pictures of your only original OG style. So then people are basically buying this for like a various amount of cost for Ethereum. And they essentially have a chance to get different types of them. And they get different, like some of them are more rare, some of them are more unique, some of them are worth more money and all that stuff. So stop me if you heard this one before as we kind of quote up some of this Kotaku article. An NFT project sells a ton of tokens, making a a ton of cash in the process for a thing that probably will exist in the future, hopefully. And that's always kind of a big thing too, because we've seen folks out there that basically go and try to sell you on the idea of getting, say, a new game, where it's like, hey, like we're gonna have this awesome NFT project, make sure you go and spend fifty thousand dollars of the best character in the game, and then basically the game never gets developed, no one ever has a chance to utilize the system. And I think it's even worse when you attach something like, say, Minecraft to it, or a lot of folks say like have like maybe a little bit on the younger audience side, or just overall it's like a just a big brand name that they just don't like people recognize so basically it unironically happened leading to as well with this time with the plot project called blockverse nft over here which was an nft project connected although unofficially to minecraft itself so as reported by pc gamer blockverse launched last week and is claimed to be on the on shame ethereum nft it's basically just on the ethereum network that it enables a unique p2e on minecraft this rolls down to a Minecraft private server, and it's only open to folks with a block first NFT. Which, in all theory, that actually is kind of like a cool idea, because it's basically like, hey, you get to go play like in a game system, such as Minecraft, with your own custom character. Maybe as you progress, you maybe get to keep those items. Like, the very, very rough concept seemed kind of cool, although obviously it never happened. It never will happen. And after scamming people for $1.2 million, I'm sure they're probably in Costa Rica or scared in their mom's basement either or and there was a lot of people kind of hyping around it because obviously minecraft and obviously a lot of kids like minecraft and adults like minecraft too and then on january 23rd it basically launched and they sold over 10,000 individual nfts so basically let's imagine 10,000 of these like little various pictures you guys can see for various amounts of ethereum as well so it's kind of like a lot of people will go and like do a launch and then have like a chance to randomize them or sell them uniquely or sell artwork through them and yeah they sold out another 10 minutes, made over 10,000 NFTs, and made over $1.2 million. But then, of course, right after all this happened, and, and like they're like, hey, we're, we had a really good launch. Everyone's excited. People might be making money, especially if they invested into these Minecraft NFTs. And then they deleted the website. 
the game server, and then of course the official Discord to probably try their best to go and X nay out any connection they have with everyone out there. And of course, a lot of folks were like, hey man, that must be a scam. Like, why did you delete the Discord? Why did you delete the website? Why did you literally go delete everything too? And they did eventually go and post up a statement from the team itself, basically sharing an explanation and apology. And of course, it's very easy to go type up a nice little tweet longer when you went just made $1.2 million. So basically, it went and stated this, Hey y'all, we all feel that we all owe everyone an apology and more importantly, an explanation. Blockverse was supposed to be a great project as before our launch, we invested an enormous amount of time and resources working on it. Everything was fully legitimate. Our contract was verified. The game infrastructure was fully set up and our launch went well, albeit with some small bumps along the road. After the launch, we went straight to work continuing development on phase two, a future expansion for the Blackverse. In the midst of all the continued development, we failed to realize and contained all the FUD, which is like fear, uncertainty, and doubt, that was going on through a multitude of issues, including to not element two, gas fees being high, Minecraft server not being to hold everyone at once, and the lack of utility of diamonds. Eventually, everything kind of went and spiraled out of control. But of course, I want to remind you guys, these people who just made $1.2 million, so don't listen to anything they say. If you're having issues on infrastructure, having issues on people, you can essentially go and afford to hire a community manager or have someone dedicate their time to your community manager and answer the questions. You should not go and officially delete your game server, website, and Discord all at the same time, because if all three of those things were gone right after I just gave you money, I would absolutely think that was a scam too as well. And uh, not too good. This is very, very, very not good. So I say, as also said as well, unfortunately, there has not been a chance to open back up yet because it seems the situation is only worsened. Explain blockchain's team, blockchain's team and its long rambling statement. While we have developed, delivered everything already promised, we understand why people may be displeased with everything that has happened and we feel the obligation to keep our fully functional game online. As well, I'm in the same boat as the article right over here. If you just made and had people spend over a million dollars, I would hope to all oh, good golly graces that you would actually go and keep this all going because why on earth would you scam people from this much money? So according to Blockverse team, the supposed plan was that once everyone had time to calm down, they would return. This once again sounds like someone who is scamming. Hey man, I just went and got your PS5. I never give you the money. I, I thought just maybe after you calm down for a few years, then maybe I'd go hit you up on Facebook, maybe. And you know, if I still had a Facebook, maybe. And then uh, we'll give you the money then, maybe. <laughs> like, I'm sure you guys can all, that you guys watching this can probably agree. If someone get, makes $1.2 million and then instantaneously right after they get the money in their hands, they go and delete everything they worked on. The website, the server, the Discord and everything. It's not a good sign. That's not a very good sign. So, of course, why everyone also, a lot of people doubted because a lot of folks are like, yeah, sure, totally would go come back over here too as well. Because apparently, actually, they even came out there to make their own separate Discord server to collectively try to go and find out the people who made this project to go and either get their money back or have an official statement or have them deal with it because this is actually really, really bad. One person from a separate server also spoke to PC Gamer and also explained that they have a little bit more of a paper trail on the devs, which also did include a thing such as a Coinbase address. They thought they got away, said the user, and now they know we have that tri trail, they left. Because basically you guys know if you have like, say, Bitcoin, if you, be let's say you send one Bitcoin to another Bitcoin, you could actually track that in some things like say a Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, you have to have like, know your customers, you have to give them like your ID and other various things to basically be able to go and sell all these various, like, you know, cryptocurrencies. It's kind of easy to get caught. And then basically said it, we were disappointed that the community jumped to false accusations so quickly, which once again, if you make over a million dollars, sell out your project in like eight minutes, and you basically disappear off the face of the planet, uh, I don't think you're allowed to go and say you're disappointed when it comes to anyone at all too as well. They basically said our intention is to work with other trusted developers and community members, rent them access to our website servers and all the backend infrastructure. So basically this is them also saying, we're not making this project anymore, but we'll maybe find some cool people at our Discord who like coding and working for free to go and utilize all this stuff. And like they also state, we're aware of how much damage we've already caused. We hope that this gesture towards the community can help us get back on track. And it kind of seems like they realize the legal trouble, which I would agree on too. And they're trying their best to be like, no, let's keep on trying to work on the project. We're just not good, I promise. Because they probably don't want to lose all the money they made. But on top of that too as well, they probably also don't want to give back all that money they made to you as well. So uh, you guys can give me your thoughts and comments on this down below. Just letting you guys know when it comes to gaming stuff, we've had the Ubisoft article where basically Ubisoft executives are like, people just don't understand FTs. Uh, I think this basically goes to show that we do understand NFTs because they're all basically scams. And this right here was a multi-million dollar scam with Minecraft IPs being utilized illegally. And now there's probably people, a lot of people out there who lost all their money. So 
Give me your thoughts, give me your comments down below. Be careful with dealing with NFTs and as well, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. On top of that, do make sure you guys check out those Samsung SSDs and phones down below. The Amazon links to the PS5 Disc Digital Console Controller. Subscribe for our PS5 giveaway. And of course, be careful. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below if you guys want to follow up on either or and sign up for that Weeble too. And I'll see you guys up in the next video tomorrow. I love you guys.